Hello friends, today we'll show you how to build your own plywood boat with a powerful jet engine. Whether you're a seasoned builder in the industry or a curious newbie, we'll provide step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and tricks to help you build a high-performance watercraft. Let's get started building the boat of your dreams. This creator tackled the project using only plywood and a homemade water jet engine. First, you need to mark the plywood in order to accurately cut out all the parts of the boat hull. This requires careful preparation and measurements to ensure proper fit and structural strength. After marking, you can proceed to cutting and assembling the base of the boat. To slightly raise the bow of the boat above the water and reduce resistance, nothing better and simpler could be devised than tightening it with ties. This method allows you to achieve the optimal angle, improving hydrodynamics and ensuring smoother gliding on the water. This is how our base looks now. It's getting more and more interesting. Now that the main part of our vessel is ready, we trim the excess parts using an angle grinder and continue with the construction. Our next step will be cutting out the side and attaching it to the base. This is an important step that will give the boat its shape and strength. After accurately measuring and cutting the sides, we will use glue and screws to securely attach the sides to the base of the boat. Of course, there is no way to do without central partitions, which give rigidity to the entire structure. These partitions will provide the necessary support and stability for the boat. After installing them, our boat will become much stronger and will be ready for further stages of assembly. It is necessary to make the back part of the boat to which the motor will be attached. To do this, we cut and reinforce the transom board, which must be strong enough to withstand the weight and vibration of the engine. Make sure that all fastenings are secure and exactly match the dimensions of the motor. After this, our boat will be ready to install the engine. Next, we'll trim away any excess or protruding parts of the boat hull and further reinforce it using screws for maximum rigidity. This step ensures a clean finish and strengthens the structure, preparing it for the next stages of assembly.
Now we move on to the crucial stage of our video about building a plywood boat, accurately measuring and cutting a hole for installing a jet engine. This step requires precision to ensure a perfect fit and optimal engine performance. We will carefully mark and cut the hole for the turbine to fit perfectly to the design of the boat. As we said earlier, our engine is also homemade and made from simple parts that can be found in everyone's household. Next, to enhance the boat's performance and durability, we'll treat the bottom with a special varnish and apply fabric which will also be coated with varnish for added strength. This process will improve water gliding efficiency and reinforce the structure, ensuring our boat is both resilient and efficient on the water. To further reinforce the boat's structure, we'll attach plastic water pipes to the bottom. This will provide additional rigidity and stability, ensuring that our plywood boat can handle various conditions on the water with ease. Using fiberglass and epoxy glue, we coat and securely fasten the pipes in place. This method ensures that the pipes are firmly attached and well sealed. Next, we will cut a piece of plywood and attach it to the top of the boat. This will create a compartment where you can store items to keep them dry when it rains. This additional feature not only provides practical storage, but also enhances the overall functionality of our boat. We cut the plastic tube lengthwise and placed it along the edges of the plywood to prevent cuts and splinters where the hull contacts the boat. This simple addition increases safety and comfort because the edges are smooth and safe to the touch. We attach plastic pipe guides to the bottom of the boat. This ensures that at high speeds, the boat stays on course without veering off course and also improves maneuverability on the water. To prevent water from entering through the jet engine, we seal the gaps from the bottom. We have now reached the final stage of constructing the boat's hull, painting it to give it a beautiful appearance.
Friends, you can congratulate us. We've completed the main construction and finished the hall. Next, things get even more exciting with the installation and tuning of the engine. Next, we install the engine components on the back of the boat and securely fasten each part. For more reliable fixation, we will use a welding machine. It's time to create the steering mechanism for the boat. We'll attach a pipe to the water jet turbine that will change its angle based on the position of the steering wheel. We install the steering wheel and connect it to the motor's turning mechanism. Now, so that you understand, we will show you with a clear example how our boat engine works. Finally our boat is completely ready, now we can test it on the pond. 